Okay, so I'm going to be recording a few bug fixes I found and uh, completed, just so I've got a record of the things I've done, because I've actually forgotten pretty much all the shit that I've done. I know I've done stuff, I just can't fucking remember what the hell it is. Um, so one of the things that we noticed, um, well, that me and my housemate Ryan noticed, was the aim was slightly off. Um, so if I click play, you'll see... Um, So yeah, you'll see that the aim is slightly off. And let me just... Can I mute the fucking sound volume? There we go. Let's just fucking mute it for a moment. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you'll see that, like... Obviously, when you're aiming up... So if we go into the center of the room, for instance... If you're aiming up, it works up. If you're aiming to the side, it, it works to the side. But as you go up, the aim is slightly off. Um figured out the reason for that is because you're taking in your mouse position and your player's position um, to do with the width and height of the room or of the um, the camera view so at the top here is like um, plus one down here is zero that's zero that's plus one so in the middle point is like five five but obviously the room is different sizes like um, it's uh, 10 by 18 so you needed to make changes to this so that what I've effectively done is put this as your zero, zero point, this is a plus five, this is a minus five, and then this is a 18, and this is a minus 18, which means that if I just go to um, this, I put the fixes back in. Uh, literally just some simple fixes. There you go, we now have perfect precision aiming. Um, another thing that's been added as well, which I should be able to just do with this, uh, to be fair. So we've got, obviously, looking around and moving with mouse and keyboard. Um, but if I go to that one and turn on gamepad, um, the mouse no longer controls the thing um, and instead we can now use the controller to look around and fire um, although for some reason it's still slightly off I'm not too sure what that is that should be up, that should be down that's left, that's right yeah up and down don't seem to work Seems to be attaching. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Uh, let's get rid of the debugs. Let's get rid of that debug. Um, uh, gamepad post dot x equals gamepad post dot x times one point eight. I believe one point eight f. Save. I think that's right. Turn gay pad mode on. So this is up. It's still still trying to look at something when I'm up. But it's the same, yeah, same when left and right, it's still trying to look at something. It's aiming directly at the door, so I need it to be relative to the player, rather than relative to the room, I guess. Um, but we'll work on it. Okay, so in the last uh, snippet, I showed that obviously... I managed to fix the aiming with uh, cursor, if I just get this up and running. Um, but there was an issue with the aiming with a joypad. Um, I'll just pause this. Let's get rid of the sound and let's get rid of the spawner for the moment in playtest mode. Um, so yeah, if I just select the player and turn on the gamepad. 
so again the mouse doesn't control anything um, and this time if I say look up um, and I'm shooting say directly up you'll notice the player actually stays facing upwards this time rather than tilt slightly towards um, a certain point because originally it was like aiming like that slightly and then as you walked up it was kind of tilting like that but now it does just aim wherever you tell it to aim it's really smooth it's got no no lag or anything it has dead zones on it as well so that obviously if you were to let go of a certain direction it doesn't like fling you like that kind of thing um, so you've got perfect rotation um, and another thing that I've fixed as well is the um, generation of rooms so obviously if we go say to the side um, we can go through and then if we go up we can go through and obviously if we go to the side we can go through but what would normally happen um, is this door here would say that it hasn't been used so it would generate a room on top of this one um, but now we actually have the collision detection where it takes us into that room rather than creates one on top um, and another thing that we have as well which I can show you in a second is if I go to this room here um, and then this room here so if I just zoom in down here uh, we've got our player character here he's going to go to this door here and he's going to unlock it and what you'll notice is that the door on the other side also unlocks at the same time which means that you can walk around anyway and get through the doors once you've unlocked it um, and we've also got generation of rooms in any angle as well so you can literally let's just get rid of these again for because we don't want too much noise or stuff playing so for instance I can oh I haven't got the uh, uh, player gamepad that would help it would also help if it hasn't frozen on me why is it frozen because unity just wants to freeze to take it So yeah, we can click the keys and literally um, just make any random pathway now. So like, no rooms overlap each other. Um, no rooms spawn on top of each other. All the collision detection, all the room detection is created successfully um, there is a little bit of a, a speed thing that I do need to sort out but as you can see like, all the rooms work perfect um, so yeah that's the aiming fixed um, and that's the room uh, detection and doors completely fixed because as you can see on the other side all the doors are open so you can still head back um, the other thing that was added was the room heights were made just a little bit taller um, and a light prefab um, had to be added um, simply because when you if I just stop this and go back to the menu scene uh, yeah we'll save if we play this and then we transition from this one to the actual game um, the rooms were like pitch black like this um, and so what we're going to need to do is uh, where is it room prefabs floor directional light we're gonna have to mess around with this directional light in order to uh, figure out what looks good and what doesn't because um, it is going to be ooh, it is going to be a tricky one to figure this one out because we don't want some of the, some of the settings too high or 
Um, but once we find something that works, we can then uh, just attach it to all the other rooms, and then we should have some nice looking rooms. Because at the moment, obviously, the darkness is a bit weird. <laughs> Oh, and I also attached a light to the zombies as well, because obviously, like Chris was saying, the zombies were a bit hard to see. So all I've effectively done is um, just attached a simple spotlight above their head. So as you can see, it just, just gives it a nice little shine. So you can see where he is.